Hey everybody! Um, I thought I'd pop in and do a quick video on how I knit my color work for you guys. So I had a couple of people ask me um, how I do it specifically. So I use a combination of a couple of different methods. I knit my color work with two hands. Uh, this hand knits continental and this hand um, knits English. Um, this hand will always have the contrast color in it for that exact reason. It kind of helps the, the contrast pop out a little bit more. Um, and I also, I wrap my floats using a method called the Philosopher's Wool method of wrapping your floats. And I just thought I'd do a little example of how I do that. Um, for anyone who's wondering, this is part of a Christmas stocking I am making. Um, the pattern is by Arnie and Carlos. Um, and the pattern is free on their website, um, except for this part is not part of their original pattern. It is a chart from the Odenenbaum socks um, that were my first ever color work socks, and I thought it would be fun to incorporate the Christmas trees. Um, but yeah, everything else is from their pattern. In their version, they have reindeer up here, so I just switched out for Christmas trees. Um, so show you guys. I'm in the process of knitting um, a little zigzag um, that is very similar to this area down here. So what you do with the philosopher's wool way of knitting color work is you, I know there's another name for it but I can't remember what it is. I tend to do it every um, couple of stitches. So what you do is I have to knit my contrast color here. So I'm just going to quickly do that. So at that guy like that. I'll knit my white stitch and then for the sake of showing you guys how to do this, to wrap your contrast color all you do is you take your right hand needle in like you were to knit and you stick this, make sure that this needle is going underneath your contrast color which most of the time it would anyway. Just make sure it's sitting on top like that. And then you'll take your main color and knit it like you normally would. And then we'll knit the third stitch. Really awkwardly, because we're knitting around a tripod. So what you've done is, with wrapping this color work around that stitch, you kind of tucked this, Let's see if I can get it. You've tucked the green. Get it to show you. We've tucked the green. There it is. So you've tucked the green right there between the white, um, the white thread as you were to knit that second stitch. So it's trapped in there, so the float wouldn't be going along, kind of like it is um, here. So you don't have this big float because it's been tacked down essentially. Um, now what you would need to do, in this part of the pattern I don't need to do this, but if you need to, let's say you were knitting a bunch of green stitches, which for example I'll just here, and I needed to knit a couple more greens, but I needed my white later. What you do, is you take your right hand needle, put it in like you were to knit normally, and you take the white yarn, wrap it around, wrap the green yarn around, and then take the white right back off. So white's trapped behind the needle just like that. Then you'd knit your next stitch. So the whites, you can see the whites trapped there. And then you'll knit your next stitch. So and then you could knit your white like you normally would. This is obviously not how the chart goes, but just to show you show you guys how you could trap um, your main color and your contrast color. I generally, because of how easy it is to wrap floats, um, I'm just going to unpick this, um, because of how easy it is to wrap floats, I tend to do this um, every two to three stitches. Um, I do recommend if you have to take your color more than four stitches that you, that you wrap it, um, because if you don't, you can get very long floats, and if something like Christmas stocking um, or a sleeve, you could catch it. Um, which might distort your color work. Um, I also find it's easier to keep an even tension 
if you have um, if you have all your floats wrapped every couple of stitches. Um, but yeah, so that's how I knit my color work. Um, and if you wrap your floats like that, I'll turn this guy most of the way inside out so you can see. You can get a beautiful inside of your color work as well as the outside. You can see all the wraps are nice and nice and twisted and caught up if they had to go more than one. Uh, more than a couple of stitches. So yeah, so that's how I knit color work and I hope that was kind of interesting for you guys.